Even though there are so many magazines being produced in the United States, it's not easy to get started in the industry. I spoke with some Vibe staffers about what it takes to get a job in the magazine world and about issues facing the magazine industry. As an entry level, Vibe is a fairly large magazine. We're 825,000 in Cirque. Um, so in terms of an entry level position to Vibe, um, if you don't have any sales experience, if you don't have any media experience, we get a lot of interns. Internships, key, key, key. Ask for a, a non-paid internship. I know a lot of people would like to get a check and get them paid, but those opportunities are not around as much as they used to be. The reality is you do need to get in and see if this is really for you, um, because clearly it is a job, and it's great to know um, by experience what you're getting yourself into before you, before you go ahead and pursue it. Um, you've got to do internships, very important. They will be unpaid, nobody's paying interns anymore, uh, but it's, it's worth it to get in here and do that. If you're really good, I've hired many, many an assistant and many, a, as an intern first. My assistant was an intern, and a lot of the interns become sales assistants, and that is usually a really good starting point. I mean, it, a lot of, for, to a lot of people, it sounds like a secretarial position, but it's a lot of responsibility doing proposals and doing letters and, doing, and, and putting together the marketing information necessary for the business. So go with the non-paid internship. They'll probably be more flexible on your hours. You could probably get a paid job somewhere else, but that could, this could be like a great home training for you, and you can find out every aspect of, about publishing, maybe on an editorial end and also on a publishing end. Um, and then it's sort, of, it's sort of growing up the ranks from there. On an advertising sales side, um, it's very much of a sales position, it's very much of a marketing position, so there are a lot of different points of entry. Um, for me, I came from a traditional you know, background, I majored in marketing, I worked for an ad agency, I worked for different magazines and media companies in print, specialized in print. So I came through a pretty traditional route. Um, there are people on the magazine side, on ad sales side, that are specialists in a certain area. For example, our fashion um, advertising category director came from a fashion background. Um, our music ad director comes from a music industry background. So if you have an industry expertise, sometimes that does better for you than just having traditional magazine um, background, traditional media background, or traditional marketing background.